All right, we're back. <laughs> My phone was kind of teetering. I have it on the charger. Um, okay, so we got some Rital Beer Co. This one's called Conan Cold. Uh, Cone of Cold Wet Hop IPA. So here we go again with another flash frozen uh, fresh hop beer, wet hop beer. Let's see, it says wet hop IPA brewed with 300 pounds of frozen citra and Simcoe hops. Um, and then it says 7% down there. So this is going to be another uh, one of those fresh hops in February um, experiences. And Varietal is one of the local guys, so. <clears throat> Again, the nose isn't all the way there, so it's a little bit of a degraded experience, but definitely really uh, robust citrus flavors. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, and continuing with the citrus theme, going with Honest Abe from Strike Gold Shave. This was, of course, based on uh, Terry Mugler's um ultra zest cologne and so i actually have the honest abe uh, edt right here and so we might as well start the shave off with a fresh blast or two of that in order to kind of pump up the uh scent strength i am getting a little something i can smell the citrus so i'm really happy about that uh we got the lather whipped up right here in the lancaster bowl I got the That Darn Rob brush that was given to me by uh, J.R. Reyes. Very, very nice brush. And I very much appreciate the gift. It has a synthetic kind of like tuxedo knot or something on top. Let's go ahead and wet the face and we'll get into it. <clears throat> so, I starting to smell just a little bit just little hints and so I figured I might as well shave with something that I have the uh, matching EDT for that way I could kind of bump up that scent strength and so man it's nice to just even though it's just a little bit and it's not the the full uh, full bodied experience just smelling just a little bit is better than nothing and I'm definitely grateful for it. It's uh it's mild. Admittedly, even with the uh even with the EDT, my sense of smell just hasn't came back hundred percent, but at least we're making baby steps back towards um <laughs> making baby steps back towards a little bit of that sense of smell. So I'll take it. Smell uh, that nice citrus, and oh my god, <laughs> I missed it. <clears throat> and the uh, the Patriot soap base is one of my uh, all time favorite soap bases. It's definitely uh, not talked about as much as I think it should be. Strike Gold Shave and um, Jen Marting, they've really came up with a a nice soap base here that uh I get a lot of enjoyment out of <clears throat> very nice looking soap this uh synthetic knot on this handle I don't like it it's soft and all which you know most synthetic knots are I just kind of feel like it's a bit springy, and uh, I don't like that uh, particularly. It's kind of hard to uh, splay, and that right there kind of bums me out. Kind of deters me from uh, using it for anything other than just a painting brush. I don't really don't really get a lot of enjoyment out of splaying it so I need to get that re-knotted and funny enough I might just end up sending it to J.R. Reyes <laughs> um, 
Right here, we got the WEC Sexto blade with the uh, translucent red scales, and we got ourselves a uh, Diane blade in there. So let's get with it. Always enjoy using the WEC. Always a very, very smooth and efficient shave every time. Had a fairly uh, good morning this morning. I woke up, made some breakfast, and then I hopped on the uh, Lather and Blade Facebook groups and talked to some of the fellas. And so that's always a good time. And since I'm quarantining, it definitely helps me pass the time. Look at that fucking lather. <laughs> I'm just looking at it on my skin, how it's perfectly dense and perfectly hydrated. Slick as all get out. <laughs> I just, you know when you fucking nail it and it just looks and feels right that's how this that's how this looks right now <clears throat> oh my god <laughs> and I'm just nailing my lines just fucking nailing it so far so good really nice shave happening so far and you can just see the uh how perfectly glossy and dense and creamy it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I did good. Did good today. Go with the grain on the neck. Surprisingly, kind of quiet today. Uh, it's a nice day outside. And I think my quarantine is pretty much over. Uh, maybe I might go one more day just for um, just for the sake of following rules. But tomorrow will be day ten. I think that's all you're supposed to quarantine or all I think that's about the minimum is 10 days um, kind of in conjunction with having no symptoms for 24 hours and today I woke up my airways are clear and um, I've had fairly mild symptoms this whole time anyways but tomorrow will be day 10 and so I might as well just Might as well just finish out that 10th day, um, just to say I did, play it on the safe side, and then I'll, uh, notify my work and see how they feel about that. Knowing them, they're probably gonna tell me, <laughs> uh, to come back ASAP. <laughs> Alright, that was a very, very nice, very smooth first pass. Yeah, they'll probably tell me to uh, come back ASAP. They're probably a week and a half behind <laughs> without me there. Alright. <clears throat> but I'm grateful that me and my wife got, you know, kind of passed over on the real severe symptoms. Get a little bit more moisture on the cheeks. Try to incorporate some of this lather that's hanging around. Get a little bit more for the neck. <clears throat> so yeah, really good stuff. Strike Gold Shave uh, Patriot Base. I have some more Strike Gold Shave on the way, but they've been experiencing uh, a little bit of a shipping problem so I don't know what the deal is with that but whenever it comes in um, I'll do the mail call and 
used it immediately. Hopefully my smell is back by the time I get it in. But <clears throat> let's get some more lather on the face. Try to scoop it all to one side like I normally do. Just vaguely smell the citrus. And citrus is the, <laughs> you know, the top note, so I'm not really getting the full experience, but Honest Abe was on my, or at least, I don't know if it was on my best of 2020 or if it was on one of my seasonal um, scent lists, but just know that I really fucking like it. <laughs> and uh, wherever it, wherever it was, it was well deserved to be on a top list. Really good scent on um, Honest Abe. <clears throat> Definitely one of my favorites. I wore the shit out of it last summer. Or the summer of 2020, I suppose I should say. Really good stuff. That lather looks really nice. Just fucking beautiful. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get this against the grain popping. <clears throat> Take another swig. It's fucking... I haven't used the WEC like a ton a ton, but... These blades definitely feel still quite as sharp as the first time I used them. Very sharp, very comfortable, <clears throat> and uh, not really showing any signs of uh, degrading on me, honestly. They're just, they still seem very much so good to go very nice I love a good fucking wax shave <laughs> It's just hard, hard to fucking beat that. Let me get the neck a little bit. Hard to fucking beat that. <clears throat> just perfectly hydrated. Cutting just, just fine. Firing on all cylinders. If only I had my uh, full scent strength. Then we would really be firing on all cylinders. Very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> get the hair up out of the lather there that way I don't cut off more than I need to if you guys haven't uh, checked out the WEC you really should they're such nice fucking shavers if you're looking for uh, to try something new too the hair shaper uh, blades are actually they're they're really nice blades. Like I'm finding that the Annie and Diane blades, I think they're the same fucking blades. To be honest, they're just marketed different, but I think they're fantastic, comfortable blades. Uh, the personas are are perfectly fine as well. At least for me, I know some people think the par the personas are a little bit rough, but they work fine for me. Um, but I do prefer the Annie and Diane blades a little bit more. 
Haven't had the pleasure of trying the Kismet blades. They're not exactly readily available over here, so I'd have to uh, put in a little extra effort to get some. But I would like to try some someday. I know people talk really highly of them. But these Annie and Diane blades work really nice for me. And I never get quite as smooth and comfortable of a shave um, like I do with the WEC. The WEC just gives me such a close, comfortable shave. And it's just hard to beat. <laughs> it's hard to fucking beat the WEC. It's really really one of the best shaves that I've ever gotten and uh, it does it consistently so the WEC is just it's just that good just that good let me get this lather off my face here got the Lancaster towel as always It just <laughs> kind of sit there and feel around and it's just baby butt smooth everywhere. That's normally, normally what I feel after a wet shave is just fucking close as can be. Let's see if I can get some of this out of here at least. If you guys haven't tried the fucking Patriot base from Strike Gold Shave, give it a try. I'm telling you, it's underrated. It's good stuff, that Patriot base. And the majority of his uh, scents are, they're dupes of high-end colognes, but... They're not ones that you normally see in the wet shaving space. They're all like new and niche and it's like he's doing us a service by bringing um, not just the same old dupes that we've already seen a hundred times. We got the uh, matching aftershave splash right there. I don't know why it's struggling to focus, but matching aftershave splash. Got quality restrictor on it. Two thumbs up for that. And give it a nice vigorous shake. And you're not gonna lose too much product. And it is an alcohol aftershave, but honestly, I didn't get very much burn at all. If anything, up here, just a very minor uh tingle. So very soothing aftershave there. If I could smell it, I'd go for another round, but can't really smell it right now because the nose is out of commission. Just getting just a little bit of citrus, but I assure you, it's a fucking good one. If Honest Abe comes back around this uh, summertime, don't hesitate to pick it up. It's a fucking good one. All right, guys. That will conclude this shave. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know, I know, I did. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for as always for the support and cheers.